Hey everyone, this is Scott from Forgot to Roll Podcast. Welcome to my DC live stream reaction. I just finished watching the DC live stream, the DC Universe live, introducing DC Daily live stream hosted by Kevin Smith. I was watching that to learn all about the DC Universe streaming service that will be only released in the US to start starting September 15th. Uh, and I'm just giving you guys my reaction to some of the things I was excited for to hear, even though I won't be getting DC Universe in Canada anytime soon. I'm still excited to learn about these things because I'm hoping eventually it rolls out to Canada. I'm assuming they'll bring it here eventually, but anyways, let's get into some of the things that they announced that I was pretty excited about. The first and foremost it was host by Kevin Smith. I love that guy. It was great to see him hosting. He's so enthusiastic about DC Comics in particular and comics in general and it's just great to see him hosting this. It kind of takes me back to when he hosted the Batman v Superman um, information kind of live stream thing. Uh, that was in between an episode of Arrow I believe or Flash, one of those. Anyways, it was a nice kind of like tie back. I don't know if that's the exact reason but it was cool to see him uh, doing it because I like his enthusiasm. Um, but some of the things that uh, they mentioned is that they're going to be having a new DC Daily show, which is just going to be like a new weekday uh, show that where they release DC news every day and have a panel discussion, do reports, and so I'm pretty excited for once, once I like I'm just going to put this disclaimer on everything. Once I'm I'm excited for this for the DC universe once we eventually get it in Canada because it will be a little bit, but I'm excited for it anyways. Um, what else? I'm excited that it was go it's going to. Uh, uh, have a kind of variety of panel and hosts and it's going to be keeping us up to date on everything DC because it's always hard to kind of keep track of everything comics and TV, movie, animated, all the different stuff. It's hard to keep track of it so it'll be cool that I'll all be in one place. Uh, it was cool they announced and showed some different things for the exclusive series they'll be sh uh, they'll, that will be on DC Universe. Uh, they showed some exclusive clips. They showed a exclusive clip from the next season of Justice, uh, Young Justice, sorry, uh, which looked pretty cool. I'm excited to like learn and see this older Nightwing who's operating in the kind of spy type uh, situation. So that looked pretty interesting. That was a cool little clip. Uh, they showed some uh, concept art for uh, the Titans, which looked pretty cool. Like we've already seen the trailer for that, but that concept art looked pretty cool as well. Those few different posters, I enjoyed that. Uh, what else did they have? Um, uh, okay, now I gotta get to my notes, guys. Um, oh, the Titans premieres October 3rd uh, at New York Comic Con and then October 12th on DCU. Uh, Young Justice clip and new programming every week. That was the thing I was pretty excited for that they announced that they're gonna, they plan to have a new piece of content no matter what every week, you know, whether it's just a, a new episode of one of their shows or a few episodes, a new movie, animated movie, whatever it is, they're planning to have one every week which I really love. I love the idea of being able to always have a new DC thing to watch even if it's not the same show every week even if it's like oh we get two episodes this week of Titans and something the next week that that would be cool with me. I'm excited for that. I like some people were kind of complaining like oh we can't binge watch it all at once. Well you don't need to binge watch everything. You can't binge watch the Arrowverse right now so I like the idea it's kind of sticking with that same kind of premise and going week to week. Uh, but yeah overall I'm just pretty excited. This announcement was pretty cool. It was interesting to see the few different um, uh, comic book kind of, I don't want to say, well I guess celebrities with Jim Lee, the producers of Young Justice, and then Terry Hatcher. It was just really cool to see those different hosts and or guests interact and so yeah I'm pretty excited and I enjoyed that live stream. But what did you guys think? Are you guys excited for the DC Universe? Did you enjoy the live stream? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today guys and have a good one.